So I love a long drop earring. Uh, I have quite a plain style and I find that earrings really add colour and detail to an outfit. Uh, so I have my hair up today and I have these pearl earrings on. These aren't in the auction, I did buy them at Bosses. Uh, but another pair that I've picked out are these fish hook earrings. They're set throughout with uh, multi-coloured sapphires. Uh, so you've got shades of blue, yellow and pink and they're just a lovely tassel design um, and I think they're lovely if you're going to wear something clean like if you're wearing black or brown or grey. They're lovely if you're wanting to sort of dress up your outfit maybe in work and then if you're going out afterwards they're just going to really add to an evening look. A piece that I think belongs in every woman's jewellery collection is a tennis bracelet. This one here is in the auction, it's 14 karat white gold and they're beautifully box set diamonds. Um, it's got a lovely side profile to it, it's got a good weight and the diamonds in it are very beautiful. People often ask where the term tennis bracelet came from. It came from a tennis player, Chris Everett, and she was playing a match and her bracelet flew off her arm. So she actually stopped the play and said to the umpire that she needed to find her tennis bracelet. And it was very important um, that they actually stopped the play. And then the term tennis bracelet was coined through her. So I'm not particularly drawn to chunky chains and necklaces on me. I prefer something quite fine, but something I do love in a necklace is the station setting. So this is where the gemstones or links are set throughout the chain. So for this particular one, I've got an 18 karat white gold fine link chain. And throughout you have these bezel set aquamarine links and it's adding a light pop of color and still adding a little bit of detail to my outfit and uh, whenever I go for sort of a more dramatic or a, um, a bigger necklace I like to then really keep it simple in my ears and um, just per personal preference so um, for, for this uh, chain I've decided to go for just a simple diamond stud and I think they just work really well together people are always looking for the classic solitaire. Now in a jewellers they are quite expensive and can be drastically different um, pricing in terms of carat weight and colour and clarity. Um, a really good place to look for a solitaire is an auction house. Um, this is a really beautiful example. This will be lot 15 in our auction. It is just shy of two carats and it's starting at £1,800. This is such a good buy if this is what you're looking for. Uh, it's got a beautiful old setting. Uh, the stone is very clear and in lovely colour. Another item that people are always looking for in here are eternity rings. These can either be full eternity rings, so that is where the diamonds go all the way around the band, and a half eternity, which is where the diamonds are only on half of the ring. Um, this one is my own personal one, but I did buy it here. Uh, it's a full eternity, and I have it paired with this lovely tank sapphire and diamond ring that is in the auction, and I think it goes quite nicely. Right, this is the collection of half eternities and full eternities that we've got in this month's auction. There are some lovely five stones in there as well. Um, these are lovely to be worn on their own or you can pair it with a coloured stone ring, um, a solitaire, another band. They're great for stacking or wearing just on their own. Thanks for watching our YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed listening to some of our jewellery styling tips and tricks. Uh, we're obviously not telling you how to wear your jewellery. We There are obviously no rules. Uh, we just thought it would be a nice thing to talk about this month. It's kind of personal to us, yes. I guess, how we would be of different styles as mm -hmm. everyone else does, I'm yeah. sure. So don't forget, you can come in and see us and try some of the items on that you've seen today or have a look through your auction and come in and see what items you prefer. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We have the Ross's Auctions account, but we also have the Ross's Jewels account. And that's where a lot of behind the scenes stuff happens too. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.